Hey guys and welcome to another video on the channel. In today's video, I will be showing you all where every secret is located inside the lost land. Secrets can be found in your inventory right beneath pixies. Only one that I have right now is blue cat pixie which can be seen in my pixie selection. This video took a while so it would mean a lot if you subscribed well what are we waiting for let's start. Hey guys, the first two secrets can be found in the village of the lost land. It was probably intended for a few to be easy pickings to encourage players to search for them all. Anyways the first one will be up here on the left inside the drink shop, right on the table to the right when you walk in the silver cup doesn't necessarily give amazing rewards but for any beginner it's a no-brainer to pick this up as it is a good starter. 200 coins then some decent rewards for beginners such as iron armor it really isn't a bad idea to get this one especially if you want to collect them all. Next up in the church there will be a bible that players can pick up. This one also gives decent rewards mainly for beginners as the rewards depend on the difficulty of finding the secret. These rewards are a little better than the reinforced armor as an ability that gives HP faster than regular. Anyways those are the first two. Secrets and there are 12 more left so let's go get them all. What's up guys, remember the Ice Cave video I made? Well I forgot to mention but there's a different route players can take that leads you directly to another secret, instead of following the river taking a left when you walk and will lead you straight to the next secret, this secret is called the stone tablets and is right behind the gold ore, make sure to mine it for some extra money while you are at it. You will have to sell the gold though if that's what you want to do. As you see right behind the gold is the stone tablets. The rewards for this one is a little better than the first two but it is more rewarding to have the tablets than what the game gives you. Once you got it you can either fight the boss to leave or walk out the way you came, now unto the next one. What's up guys, for the next secret that can be found you will need to go to the waterfall area but instead of going into the waterfall cave you will need to walk onto the top of the waterfall cave and then continue following the path that I am walking on. This secret is called butterfly, it's basically an insect that indicates an environment's health. The rewards for this one is mostly just food which is always useful because you never know when you can be in a pinch for food, now jump. Over this hilly part and walk all the way up to the peak of the waterfall which is where the butterfly remains, right now would be a good time to like and subscribe as I pick up this butterfly, as you can see the rewards and coins and food, onto the next one. Alright guys, now we are at the entrance of the burning village cave section, this one might be tricky and you could get lost so make sure to follow me fully to get this secret, first you want to enter the water and then immediately as you get in take a left, continue following my path as I go, past these shelters with a right into the storage bin area, this place can get confusing like a maze sometimes. Oh wait this isn't where I am supposed to be continue following me, past the shelters and down into this hole the secret will be found down here. Continue following my path as I go down here. Here we are, once you see the gold or make sure to come into this section of the cave and the secret will be right here. This secret is called the Ark Boat which is a boat that helped navigate people through a world flood. As you see the rewards for this one are very mediocre but that doesn't matter as we are here to obtain every secret not its rewards, on to the next one. What's up guys, we are now in the waterfall cave, first you are going to want to do the parkour in this section which you will find if you just go fully through the waterfall cave to this point, make sure to do the parkour at your own pace so you don't end up dying and have to retry the obby part. Once the obby is completed just follow down this path and jump straight into the water and you will have to break a stone piece but right under it will be the secret. The crucifix secret represents the death of Jesus which is very cool because I like the cross, anyways the rewards aren't anything special and to get out you will have to continue the path you have been going on through the waterfall cave. Okay guys we are now at the volcano cave where the cave offers one secret. To find this secret you will have to be at this section of the parkour area and just follow the path I take, many will miss this secret as it is pretty hidden. So you are supposed to go up and mine the ruby and then you will see the secret and be like oh yeah found another and pick it up but I doubt everyone goes over there and picks up that specific ruby or, now the secret are called gemstones and pretty much. Just symbolizes all the different types of ores inside the lost land. Alright now onto the next secret. Okay now we are at the beginning of the Hiddenite area where players can fight the Hiddenite Guardian to pull the lever for it. 
So you will need fire opal armor or rainbow armor to go through this lava. Following the path I take you will not need to fight the boss for the secret but you may need to fight him to get back to the surface. Right here you will want to take a left down a different path than where the boss room stands. Down this path there will be a boulder in the way that you will have to break but I already broke it searching for this secret. Where these stone materials are is where the boulder is. After that there will be the pyramid secret which is pretty cool to be honest. After this secret the rest will require you to be at least over level 200 to successfully get to these places alone. As you can see this pyramid gives the cosmetic Egyptian stuff as well, on to the next one. Okay guys we are now located in the Hiddenite Palace area. In here players will automatically go to that statue to mine for ores but we are here for something totally different, a secret, so instead you will need to jump into the water and swim down to the building onto your left. The secret here is called the Dragon Head, symbolizing a dragon used to live in this cave that has passed away. Hopefully they add more dragons in the future as they are all pretty cool, here it is the dragon. Head, reminds of, of the dragon head tool that you can craft with Jade. This secret surprisingly actually gives some good loot that can be useful to players. Well after this one we are now going to have to go to the temple which is the most dangerous place in the game. Alright we are now located at the temple section. There is one secret located right before you even get inside the temple so just follow me. By the way the temple only opens at night time in the game so you might need to wait for that to happen. A lot of monsters will attack you as you walk in but do not worry as I am the best the lost land player meaning their attacks are nothing to me. Climb up this temple and you onto the left there will be a red knife secret, the game says it was used for rituals and sacrifices which is a little unsettling probably meaning this place is very dangerous, now we have to wait the night for the temple to open, so onto the next one. Alright guys now we are located in the temple's first area, instead of taking a left into the further parts of the temple you will have to go down into the right path which will lead you to a secret, this secret requires you to craft some sort of flying transportation device meaning you will need some resources before doing this one, go over this first bridge and then craft a hot air balloon to fly to the next one, the red skull will be waiting for you on the other side waiting to be picked up, after this there is one more remaining that will be in a deeper part of the temple, Dang this hot air balloon is really slow. Once you reach the other side it is to the right and just pick it up. It has a pretty cool design to it very spooky vibe to it. The rewards for this one seem to be pretty average but you do get some obsidian which can only be obtained through the eclipse event, now onto the final main one. Well guys we are now at the maze part in the temple, this part may also get confusing so make sure to stick with me through it all, first take a right and follow down this path, right now would be a good time for you guys to comment down what your favorite secret is, up here go through this little section then follow past the rock and the tree, taking a right then an immediate left following the path for another left then you will find the jar of life which is my favorite secret of them all, past this ruby or the secret will be revealed so just go pick it up, now that it has been fully picked up we only have one more to showcase which is the blue cat pixel, this one is only used as a living item so let's go. Now you will have to be back at the main land for this one, I already found this secret in one of the first videos of mine so make sure to check that one out it is the exploring the ice cave video, the secret is directly located right up next to this rock you will hear some goofy music playing and him just chilling next to the rock, right here is where he would be so you can't miss it. Check my location on the map if needed it's near the burning village, it'll also show you what the pixie looks like, well guys it certainly has been fun searching for all of these secrets but I have found them all now, make sure to like and subscribe for more.